At the Cougar Dome, the Quince Orchard Cougars host the defending 3A state champions, the Damascus Hornets, in what is set to be a great season opener. Neither offense had any success until three and a half minutes into the second quarter. The Cougars score first off Doc Bonner's 17-yard touchdown pass to Kyle Motes. On the ensuing offensive drive for Damascus, Marcus Vinson rips off a very nice run with some shifty moves. This long run would set up the Damascus offense inside the 10-yard line. On the very next play, Vinson receives the toss outside. Following some key blocks and lowering his shoulder, he plows ahead for the touchdown. Just like that, in two plays, this game's all tied up 7-7. With three minutes remaining in the first half, the Cougars would respond through the air. Bonner finds Brendan McGongle on the slam pattern for the go-ahead touchdown. The point attempt would be disrupted, causing the score to be 13-7 at halftime. In opening the second half, the Cougars miss a field goal opportunity after forcing and recovering a fumble. The Damascus Hornets would take full advantage of the turnover. Marcus Vinson sprints down the sideline showing off that speed. He goes practically untouched for 55 yards for the touchdown. The ensuing point attempt would be good. Damascus leads 14 to 13. With time running down in the third quarter, Doc Bonner left the game for a few plays after receiving a hard hit. The Hornets defense would take full advantage, forcing and recovering a fumble in their own territory. On the very next play and first play of the fourth quarter, Marcus Vinson would make the Cougars defense pay. He goes practically untouched again for a 66-yard touchdown. The University of Richmond commit finished the ball game with 278 yards on just 14 carries. In the second half, the people really started to respect me, especially in the student section. That, was, that felt great, and my teammates were just great. With time winding down for the Cougars to make something happen, they get exactly what they need on the screen pass. Gerald Wade goes 48 yards to help set up the Cougars in great scoring position. But after three unsuccessful attempts, the Cougars find themselves needing to go for it on fourth down. They go to the air on the pass play. The Hornets defense swarm to Doc Bonner. They would cause the sack. That would be the end of this game. The Hornets take the victory 21 to 13, and they remain unbeaten. Season, I was working every, basically every day, just making sure I was being a good leader and making sure I could carry the load like Jake did last year. Besides that practice, every single day, no fumbles, no interceptions, all the little things count the most, like mentally, physically, emotionally, everything.